uh, give me a second. I'm still doing like uh, the YouTube live is not being live streamed. So can you check it? Yeah, live now. Okay. Yeah, but it is not showing okay. on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, ma'am, you can start now. We are live now. Yes. Very good morning to one and all. Myself, Dr. Vishala, single point of contact, SPOC of St. Agnes College, Autonomous, Mangalore, Karnataka. Welcome you all to this NPTEL Awareness Program. This program has been organized in association with the NPTEL team for the benefit of our staff and students. We thank the organizers of local chapter of NPTEL for giving our college this unique opportunity. Welcome makes a merry feast. I now request Dr. Sister Venisa, our principal of our college, our college, to welcome the gathering. Over to you, Sister. Good morning to all of you and a warm welcome to this online session. Develop a passion for learning. If you do, you will never cease to grow, says Anthony J. Angelo. Learning has been a passion for all of us at St. Agnes College. St. Agnes College, Mangaluru, Karnataka is the first women's college on the west coast of India. Founded on 2nd July 1921 by Mother Mary Elvisha, the college has progressed by leaps and bounds to be one of the premier institution of higher education in the country. The college from its inception has imparted higher education to the women of South India. It has ever since proved to be a standard bearer of refute in the field of education. While education of the girl child and women empowerment are recognized as the national priority today, St. Agnes College has been serving this noble cause for the past 100 years and its alumni scattered all over the world are witness to this fact. As we march into the post-centenary year, we extend this legacy of our century to boys too. At the undergrad, to be a part of this institution, to unleash their creativity and to be a part of those intellectuals who will eventually turn into citizens with personal integrity and social responsibility. So we do feel proud to see our students uh, alluring the distinction, distinguished post at different levels and different positions as educators, scientists, chartered accountants, management professionals, efficient homemakers. The college aims to integrate academics with value education and focuses on skill enhancement of our students. Hence, we have introduced a number of certificate courses, diploma courses, research work, extension activities and development programs for the students as well as teachers, keeping in mind the need of the society and the uh, demands of the job market. The college took the initiative of uh, submitting itself to the accreditation process conducted by NAC in 1999. And St. Agnes College was the first college under Mangalore University to submit itself for the, this process. And it was given, it received a five star grade then. In the subsequent reaccreditation processes by NAC in 2005 2012, the college earned A grade. And in 2017, 
the institution was recognized as a college of excellence by ugc and secured a plus grade from nac with a cgpa 3.65 out of 4 under the fourth cycle the college also is a recipient of star status from dbt mst government of india new delhi the college is the proud recipient of jimmy and roslyn carter foundation partnership international award for its path breaking work in the field of watershed management greatly benefiting villages in the suburbs of mangalore and a certificate of appreciation from father mulla medical college for regular blood donation annual blood donation camp the college has introduced a community service program for all its final year students with the threefold objective of education, awareness, and service. And has adopted five villages where students and staff move every Saturday to these villages to render their little service to the villages and build up the village uh, out uh, through their outreach programs. The year 2021 was a milestone in the history of St. Agnes College as it completed 100 years in the field of education and empowerment of thousands of women. The college has stamped its influence on each of their lives, not just in the quality education that they received, and the sharpening of their skills and talents, but in the very shaping of their character, values, and principles. I'm happy today to welcome all of you to this online session on creating awareness regarding the MPTL programs. A few of our students have benefited from these courses in the past year, that is last year, and now we are eager or rather we want more students to benefit from the same as well as our staff members. So this platform has provided students a wide range of courses where an option is available to them as per their interest, their need, taste, etc. So we are happy to benefit from these uh, Swayam portal and open this facility and encourage our students to pick up the courses. So today we have to guide us, enlighten us regarding these programs. Ms. Divya, the project officer, Ms. Priyadarshini, projects associate and the team. On behalf of all the faculty members gathered at this online session, I extend a hearty, warm welcome to you, dear madams and the team. I'm sure this session will help all of us to enhance the knowledge as well as clarify all our doubt. I extend a cordial welcome to all our faculty members, both of UG and PG departments and students who are always eager and passionate to enhance their learning skills. Once again, a warm and hearty welcome to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for an elaborate introduction of our college and for those words of welcome, warm words of welcome. Thank you, sister. NPTEL team would like to know about our college and the impact of the NPTEL courses on our staff and students. To do this present task, I now request Dr. Nancy Walls, the registrar of our college and also the former SPOC at our college. She had taken a lot of trouble to instill interest among staff and students. I feel Dr. Nancy Walls is the right person to do this present task. Over to you, Dr. Nancy. Thank you, Vishala. Good morning to my principal. Divya Madam and your team, 
Dr. Vishala, the President Spock, and all the staff and students of our college. I'm honored to present this uh, small, uh, this. I will not share the PPTs, but let me just tell what we want to say from Agnes Sek. Now, we know that we, our college is established 100 years ago, as sister said, and it was a women's college for a century. Now it has turned co post-centenary. Uh, it was started with just nine students way back in, way back 100 years ago. Currently, we have around 2,000 students and it was started with just one program and currently we have five UG programs, that is BA, BSc, BCom, BBA and BC at the UG level and five PG programs, MA English, MCom, MSc Psychology, MSc Chemistry and MSc Clinical Psychology, which is under Rajiv Gandhi University, the former four are under autonomy. And we have MBA and MCA, which will be started, which uh, is about to be started this year. We have around 90 teaching faculty in the UG and 25 at the PG. Now, at, at St. Agnes College, maybe I've been the spot for the past four years when uh, this program has started. And uh, we have quite a few of our staff who have completed their courses at NPTEL. So we are in touch with the NPTEL courses. Um, in addition, with regard to MOOCs, we are in touch with Coursera and we are in touch with edX, all these programs, uh, all these uh, platforms. Um, as far as NPTEL at the college is concerned, we have uh, programs which are taken in lieu of the courses. Actually, two, three students have done this. And recently, one student has taken up a German course. And in that, she stands as top of the 440 students who have taken up this course, who is Dia Abiraj. Um, now, as far as how popular NPTEL is, it has not taken off so far as it should be because of a few reasons. Uh, there is a clarity of guidelines to be received yet. There is a clarity, but not exactly in the way it has to come. Um, then there was a COVID situation which gave us a setback. Uh, time factor as far as the full-time course is concerned, um, it's very difficult to cope up maybe for students, especially after COVID, who have lost touch with the, uh, the normal learning way. Um, they have, uh, it is, the time factor is one which is troubling them. Then um, there are many registrations, but there are no completions. Exams are, uh, they do not go up to the exam level. Then maybe there is some uh, need for mentoring, which has not caught up with our college. So this is uh, what, these are a few reasons why we have not been able to take off in the right way. Now we have other edX uh, platforms, uh, especially the Coursera, which we have, uh, uh, there are many students who have taken up courses on Coursera. Um, since they give us a few free courses, they have taken it up. Now, I, I have to give up my uh, this on in favor of Mrs. Mrs. Dr. Vishala because of a few reasons. Um, now, NPTEL offerings, I would like to say this. Uh, NPTEL offers single courses, uh, single course in lieu of courses, or we can earn extra credits through them. There are domain programs where the whole domain is learned on a particular concept and then there are internships offered um, and I simply love the awarding system of NPTEL, the way they recognize the toppers, the way they award them and make of it. And really, I have one of the um, workshops and at it I've seen the way in which um, NPTEL encourages students and staff to um, come forward and uh, improve their
career through NPTEL courses. Now, IIT Madras is one which impresses me a lot because of the way in which they take up this uh, platform. Um, I should say it is the most responsive platform because the minute uh, we encounter a problem, we can just get back to them. There is a group also, WhatsApp group. We can just get back to them as a spot and you can expect instant response, instant it is. Almost within, a, uh, uh, within an hour, we can get a um, clarification for anything that we want. That way, we are very, uh, I feel very honored to be a part of this particular program. Now, as far as what we want at Agnes, we want to be a part of this uh, whole program. And we want to know what the benefits are for students. Online programs and offline programs versus offline programs. The benefits that are uh, that uh, can be availed by the staff and students to these programs. Then I would like you also to tell us about the way in which you recognize. I have seen it. Many have not. The mentors, the way in which mentors are recognized, colleges are recognized, and the students are recognized for. Uh, being steady in their learning. Then, uh, something which interests me a lot is internships. I know the kind of uh, uh, linkages that you have with the industry. And if our students can, could get these internships, uh, we'll be very greatly benefited. So, maybe we want to know the types of internships. Ours is not a technical institute, ours is a degree college. And uh, postgraduate uh, programs are offered, but uh, the types of uh, internships, whether they are available to our students also, and how they can be availed. Information on that, it would be uh, very nice if you share with us. And maybe you could guide us on domain programs and the equivalence that is there, that, that is uh, available for students to have done domain programs. Uh, we would also like to know the tie-ups that we can have with NPTEL or IIT Madras. Please guide us on that. And any other thing which you would like to tell us about. Now, what I see as a college, St. Thomas College for the future, we know online programs and MOOCs have come to stay. We want to give the best offerings for our students. Maybe exactly as per their dream. They want to do one program with this something else. Now, may not be possible as an offline program because we need the expertise, we need the funds. May not be possible. And with NPTEL offering its programs, very standard programs at such low cost, uh, maybe we would become one of the uh, most sought out colleges um, offering students exactly what they want. That is our dream. And that too, um, offerings are from reputed institutions. So we want to be associated with all these reputed institutions through NPTEL. So I request the NPTEL team, led by um, Vidya Madam, to take over and give us a session on all these matters and more. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. So we can start the session. Thank you, Nancy. I know our staff, staff and students are eagerly waiting to listen to the webinar. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo. This is the NPTEL logo. Uh, we'll start off with it. So NPTEL is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together. It's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website, but we have certification, not just certification for one course, but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain. Uh, for faculty, we have FDP courses, which fetch you career points. Then we have internship opportunity for students. We have soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on. So this is what this presentation will uh, talk about. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms, uh, NPTEL and Swayam. So uh, Swayam is a project of the ministry, the government of India, MHRD, and they created this in 2017 and said that all these agencies that you see below, right, uh, IAM Bangalore, UGC, CEC, uh, NCRT, NITR, AICT, they all have to offer courses for certification under Swayam. So NPTEL is also a national coordinator under Swayam. We primarily offer courses in engineering, the UG level, the bachelor's level, the MTech ME level, some PhD level courses also. But since we have courses uh, that are there in the management and humanities division inside IITs, we offer that also on NPTEL. NPTEL also coordinates with some institutes like the ICERS to offer, uh, say, the physics, chemistry, mathematics courses. We work with the IIITs. We work with National Law School Bangalore. We work with some medical institutions to offer medical related courses. So uh, maybe 90% of our courses will be engineering related humanities management and 10% is something else we help. So uh, NPTEL comes under Swayam and we coordinate this primarily. There are other agencies also. So one thing to remember, when you are going to swayam.gov.in and you try to enroll to any course or you try to join any course, please check whether the national coordinator is NPTEL if you want to join the NPTEL course. Because if you just search for, say, a database management systems course, right? Maybe there is some other college also offering it with somebody else's coordinating. So the course name that we offer will also be database management system. Theirs will also be that possibly. So how do you actually differentiate if it's an NPTEL course? On every course card, we will have a logo of NPTEL. I'll show it to you when we come there. But you can check that and then you can join the course. Okay, that is something that you have to look out for. Okay. Uh, NPTEL started in 2003. The vision, mission that we have had is to uh, record the content that is being taught to IIT students and put it out for anybody to watch and view so that nobody can say, I didn't get a chance to prepare for IITs. I am not in the IITs today. I cannot get access to their knowledge, to their teaching. Uh, hence, you know, I am denied this opportunity. Nobody can say that. Today, more than 2,000 courses we have in our repository. You can go there and you can actually access the courses for free. You can just go there. You can scroll. You can watch all the videos. We have more than 50,000 hours of video in our website. You can access all that for free. There is no charge. There is no free a fee at all to access our content. Okay. There's somebody who's asking, is NPTEL useful for students of LLB? So National Law School Bangalore, NLSIU, is offering uh, two courses, I think, in uh, Jan. I don't know if we have. In July, we had two courses, I think. And more are coming in that. So specific to law, we do have a couple of courses. IIT Kharagpur has a law department. So from there, we have some courses coming in. But otherwise, you can access the general courses that we have also, say on uh, management or English. Those might be useful to you. Yeah. So whenever you think of a website, right, what really uh, do you look out for? Say how many people access that website? How, many, how much content do we have? In a YouTube also, whenever we go to and watch a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, one of the things we look at is how many people have watched that video or how many subscribers are there in that channel, correct? So this is the NPTEL statistics. We have more than 1.3 billion views of the NPTEL videos, okay? So this is like huge, huge for a technical channel which has no entertainment. You can't call NPTEL videos as entertainment. There is no song and dance or something. It's all faculty from the IITs, IIC teaching serious stuff there. And for that, we have more than 1.3 billion views. We have 37 lakh subscribers on our YouTube channel. So any of you has not subscribed to our channel today, I think I would say you're missing out on something. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe for our updates so that you get it. Go to our social media handles, subscribe to our uh, social media handles so that you get the latest updates from NPTEL. And this is where uh, we are today as of NPTEL, okay? So these are what we do at NPTEL today. And if you do an NPTEL course, what is the use of it? 
So the very first point is credit transfer. I was just talking to Dr. Satish also about it and said that maybe we should try to see whether students can get credit transfer for the courses that you do from NPTEL. But yes, even if you don't get credit transfer, I think you get a lot of knowledge from NPTEL courses. Uh, for instance, say, what are the kind of courses we have that we would recommend to students in your college, correct? So we will say that we have a lot of programming courses. So we have programming in C, C++, Python, Java programming and all that. So if you are, say, a BSc physics student or a BA English student, maybe a BCom student, as part of your uh, program in the college, you would not be learning programming possibly. So you can go to NPTEL, you can learn the programming course, you can learn a bit of programming and also get that certificate along with your program. Wherever you go today to any company you want, they use some kind of a database, they will have some kind of coding that is there, they will have some kind of software they're using for uh, in within their company. It's good for you all to know at least something about it, okay? That is the first part. The other thing, okay, what are the other courses we have that is useful for you? If you're planning for higher education, you want to go in for a master's degree. Supposing you want to strengthen your fundamentals, your foundations, you want to maybe do some more courses from other institutes so that you're confident when you're attending interviews. Those courses will be available on NPTEL. So we have all the UG undergraduate courses. You can go through that. You don't even have to write the exam for each of these courses. You can just go through the videos. You can try solving problems. You can watch many videos, try to get knowledge from it and strengthen your foundation. So if you're going for higher education, I would say the courses are really useful. So first thing I'll say, try something like programming courses. Then you go in for higher education. Probably you want to try and strengthen your fundamentals. The third thing, try to learn something that is of interest to you, which you possibly cannot learn otherwise. For instance, we have courses on German language, teaching you German, teaching you Japanese, teaching you Sanskrit. So if you want to learn any of these, you can come to NPTEL and learn. So for instance, German is taught only by maybe the Goethe Institute and maybe some other institutes. Here the same course is taught, but it is free for you. And if you want a certificate, you can write the exam, but otherwise too, you can learn the German language for free. Same thing, you can learn Japanese language. Why are these useful? Maybe you go to a company that has branches, say in Germany, Japan, they have opportunities for people to go there, but you need to know the language. So at that point, this becomes very useful for you. So you can try to learn other languages also through NPTEL courses. Okay, maybe you're technically very strong, you have good foundations, you have good knowledge in your particular program, but maybe your English is not very good, hence you're not confident about speaking. We have a lot of courses like soft skills development, soft skills enhancement, how to attend an interview, the body language that you have to have when attending an interview, uh, interpersonal communication skills, leadership skills. So we have a lot of courses like this that you can also go through. It will give you a lot of tips on how to present yourself, how to ready yourself for such situations so that having the knowledge, you can also be confident when you talk to somebody and you are presenting or being in an interview. So that's another set of NPTEL courses that we have as part of what we offer. So anybody who wants to learn, I think should be able to get at least two or three courses of their interest that they can join and learn. Joining is free, like I said, there is no fee at all. It is all completely free and you can watch it. There are no live classes. These are all recorded lectures, so you can watch at your convenience. If your college day, uh, college time is say 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or something, in the evening you have time, you can sit and watch NPTEL lectures. On Saturday, Sunday, you can watch it. There will be one assignment every week. You have to solve the assignment and you have to submit it. For that also, you get 10 days of time. So you can watch the lectures, you can try solving the assignment. Maybe a couple of you friends are joining the same course. You can all sit together. You can learn from each other, you can solve together, take help from your teachers and you can do the NPTEL courses. So there is no such thing as there'll be live lectures. Maybe you'll miss a few lectures because you have college or something. It is all video lectures along with assignment. OK, so the first part is credit transfer and learning from our courses. Apart from it, if you do very well, maybe we should go to next slides. 
yeah so this is the credit transfer i don't want to discuss too much about this because uh, we i think uh, your university doesn't have credit transfer so i'll skip this slide and uh, so uh, credit transfer just as a piece of information for maybe the faculty who are out here iits do do credit transfer from nptel courses we do it at the btech level we do it at the masters level for phd working professionals for them to get credit transfer also we do it so iits also do credit transfer from nptel courses it is not just the outside uh, colleges that have to do it we ourselves do credit transfer from uh, nptel courses okay yeah uh this is an important thing i would say so we have a program by which the toppers in the courses actually get internship opportunity with the faculty in the iits so whoever has offered that course they take in normally about 2 3 5 interns during summer or winter if you are a topper in the course so if you do a course very well and you become a topper in the certification course then we give you an opportunity to intern with the faculty so we are trying to scale up these numbers covid uh, hit us also so we could not get them but we hope it will be at least 200 300 students who can intern at the iits with the faculty so this is a wonderful opportunity for you to come and stay uh, you know in the city uh, be in the iit madras or iit kanpur or iit kharagpur or iit bombay lab you get to interact with the faculty members there you interact with their phd scholars there you can do all of this which will be wonderful if you are especially thinking about going for higher studies you will get the idea of what is done in these institutes i think it's a, a really good opportunity for students outside of the iits to come in and experience the iits here so there is internship then we also do soft skill training so uh, there are many colleges who provide it on their own but there are also some colleges who do not have this training for the students so if uh, college students in local chapters uh, they participate in nptel courses then for those students we are providing soft skill training so this training is of two types we do a one week training or we do a two week training depending on how much time the student can spare and the college also wants the students to do so here we have group discussion practice we ask you to write your resume and we give input on the resume we ask you all to present about yourselves give feedback about how you should talk where you should look your body language and so on and there are also a one on one like every student will get half an hour with a trainer to discuss about how they should also do so the right side photo you see is a one on one where we do mock interviews we try to uh, simulate an interview and see how you are responding and then give feedback on how you should do better in your interview so we do soft skill training for students who do nptel courses so this is something that we do from nptel again if you look at numbers we have finished uh, soft skill training for more than 2000 students currently and we are doing about 10 colleges a month and we hope to scale it up so if you are uh, i don't know if pedapalli college has done it but yes we can extend it to you all also and we can get it done okay uh, so there is a 7 or 14 day training program that i was talking about next okay so somebody was asking uh, will we get jobs uh, with uh, these nptel courses how is it helpful to us and so on when we do surveys of nptel students and where they have gotten placed these are the companies that they have gotten placed so far this is like some of the companies are on it's not all the companies that they've gotten placed for but they have said that the nptel courses have really helped them when they went for the interviews when they show a certificate to the interviewer and say i did a course with the iits i got so much marks in that course it really does help in the job interview so those people also ask questions on that assuming you've studied well and you can answer it will definitely help you that outside of the college syllabus you have done something more to learn and skill yourself also companies approach us and ask us do we have students in particular areas that we can send them their resumes so we also collect resumes of students on our side and if they are interested we send these out to the companies and the companies call them for interviews go through their uh, levels of recruitment and we have been able to place nptel students from our side also in some companies so we are still working on it i hope this will increase we are talking with more companies on this front but otherwise even if you have like two or three courses from nptel 
and the certificates for it i think it will be hugely useful because of the logos we put on the certificate okay yeah the next one uh, there are a lot of uh, students learners faculty who do multiple courses with us there are people who do uh, the courses maybe uh, you know they do three courses in a semester four courses in a semester they are toppers in two or three courses every semester there are people who have done a lot of courses with us i'll maybe show you the data in the next one but this is another type of recognition we give to nptel learners so you can go to nptel website and at the top we have a link called nptel stars so click on that link click on any of this you will see how many people are actually doing multiple courses with us so if uh, students are thinking oh i don't have time and i'm so busy i can't do it you should just see to uh, see these pages to see how come these people who are working professionals who are students in colleges just like you or who are maybe you know uh, uh, studying or faculty or something how are they able to get the time to do so many courses if they can get the time i think anybody can get the time right you just have to manage your time on when you are going to study and not waste time on something else that is not important etc so this page i would say please go and see so these are the kind of uh, domain scholars superstars uh, evangelists and all we have uh, we have more than about 3000 as i can just calculate on the fly that we are going to have these people doing multiple courses and they are nptel stars with us today uh, so there is something called domain certification that we have currently come up with in the last two years so what is a domain right so a domain we have created uh, just to club courses together and maybe about five or six courses we have put together and we say that if you study this uh, six courses and you get more than 60 in the course in each course not just pass it by getting a 40 then you get a domain scholar certificate so why is this important this is important because it shows that you have specialized in a particular area so for instance we have a programming domain so in the programming domain we have courses such as c uh, c++ python uh, database management course and then maybe uh, cloud computing course and so on so if you do a programming domain right and you do all the six courses it shows that you have a solid foundation in this particular area so when you go for an interview and you actually show a domain certificate versus just one or two certificates from us that will make more of an impact on the interviewing person so this is something we recommend it is more just to guide students on what to study to become uh, to become and specialize in one particular area we found that many nptel learners do four or five courses but they do random courses that are not connected to each other so this uh, domain will guide you in what to study if you want to specialize in a particular area we have about 53 domains today in all branches of engineering management english and for faculty we have a faculty domain basic and advanced also so that you can also go through that part of it so you can go to our website there are more details on domains there uh, you can we can talk about it later too okay yeah so these are some of the domains we have so for you it might be relevant the english studies we have a domain psychology we have a domain management we have it in marketing operations uh, patents and intellectual property in economics and of course engineering uh, and all we have couple of uh, domains so uh, if you are a general student uh, not an engineering student i would recommend the programming domain for you if you want to try out something do the programming domain or do the management domain that will be really useful for you so if you are an engineering student of course you can try any of the domains relevant in your particular discipline or engineering or you can do a cross discipline so for instance i am a maybe mechanical engineer i like electrical engineering you can actually do the courses in electrical engineering and you can get a domain from there so here nobody stops you and says hey you are in mechanical engineering department you cannot study electrical engineering say power systems course power electronics course you are not allowed to study that there is no such thing like that anybody can study any course as long as you can 
cope with it. So you can also do a cross department study by doing domains from any of what is listed here. Uh, this is what a domain certificate looks like. We give this, we list all the courses you have done and we uh, assign it out, of course, from the specific IIT that we are giving it from. So how do we do lab courses? Is it online? Uh, not really. We do it in the institutes. We do it in various institutes such as uh, ISERS, IAT. You can come here. You can stay for a week at the institute. You can do the lab experiments. You can listen to faculty giving one or two lectures in the day and then do a lab exam and take a certificate. So what is the advantage of this? You will get to see really modern labs. You will get to see what the state of the art labs are in these institutes. You can see the equipment that is there, the modern equipment that is there. You can see the advanced research that is happening here. You can interact and get explained on all this equipment. So we had very successful uh, labs being run at all these places. This is a wonderful opportunity. Again, if you do the theory course in NP10, those people, we will permit that you can apply and come for these lab certification courses and you can do the workshops here. Okay. So that was the idea behind the question we asked you. What else do we do at NP10? This is for faculty in colleges. So faculty in colleges, under the AICT scheme, we explicitly have an MOU with them where NPTEL advanced courses, if you do and pass, you will get uh, an AICT approved FDP certificate. So that is for faculty in AICT colleges. For those under the UGC scheme, they have given a broad guideline that if you do an, uh, uh, Swayam courses, there will be some career progression points. But uh, the actual logistics, I'm not sure you'll have to check within your, <coughs> sorry, university. So that is something that is there. But uh, we see that more than about uh, 20, 30,000 faculty write our exams every semester. And most of them apply for the FTP certificates also. This is very, very useful for faculty, I will say, because you don't have to spend money. You don't have to take leave. You don't have to miss your college work and go to some institute, stay for a week or stay for 10 days and then do an FDP course. You can do the FDP course online itself, just like the students. You join for free on Swayam portal. You go through the course, submit assignments, and then you pay the thousand rupees and attend the final exam and get your certificate. Once you get your certificate, you can apply for the FDP certificate to us and get that too. That's all it takes to do an FDP course with us today. So this is very important for faculty. I hope this is clear. This is what the FDP certificate looks like. You can see that it has the signature of the uh, director from AICT also. There is a regulation under which they have approved this. The AICT logo is there. So this you can present when you are going in for your uh, promotion interviews, right? The conversion that they do is a four week NPTEL course is equivalent to half FDP of one week. An eight week NPTEL course is a full FDP of one week and a 12 week course is equivalent to one and a half weeks FDP equivalent. So this is the equivalence of it. Okay. Yes. The next thing I wanted to talk about was gate coaching. So we have started a new uh, link on our website. And uh, somebody has given us CSR money for developing this and uh, uh, providing whatever, uh, I wouldn't call it coaching, but yes, gate preparation, whatever we can help students with to have and prepare for gate exams free. Again, we are trying to do from our side. So you can go here and we have given uh, solutions to all the previous gate questions. We have given uh, videos uh, solving those questions. We have uh, uh, extra questions that are coming up, practice questions that will be coming up, small courses linking all the videos that are relevant to GATE. So we will be coming up. Phase one is only over. Phase two and phase three, we will be coming up within the next six months. So keep watching this uh, uh, link on NPTEL website if you are preparing for the GATE exam. Okay, that is one new initiative we have come up with. The next initiative exams outside of India. So till uh, 2020, we were doing exams only in India where you have to go to a center and you have to write it. And then we got a lot of requests from uh, people outside of India saying they also study from NPTEL courses and they want to write exams with us. So now we 
help to do that also people outside india can also write exams nptel exams and get certificates from us okay yeah so uh, translation is the next effort so for people who are asking in what languages do we offer courses uh, the faculty teach only in uh, english uh, for now uh, but the english transcripts we translate into eight languages so we do uh, tamil telugu malayalam kannada hindi gujarati uh, bengali and marathi so that's the languages that we are translating it into so telugu we have a lot of uh, transcripts that are translated into telugu language so the faculty will talk in english but you can also read what we have translated in telugu or tamil or hindi whatever is your language and you can understand it better we are keeping the videos in english so that you also learn english because when you go to work somewhere english will be the primary language you have to communicate in so this is something we are doing uh, one or two courses we are getting in regional language for instance this time in january we are doing a machine learning uh, course in tamil language the faculty is going to teach in tamil language there is a signals and systems course that is coming out in hindi language in july semester we are getting an r programming course in hindi language so only two or three we have most are in uh, english we don't have too many other language courses so that's something you can check uh, let me take a question from the chat there are one or two saying i am from commerce background i am from bcom what courses we can take so for bcom students we do have a lot of uh, accounts related courses you can check those out go to management department i'll show you how to filter and learn from it you can go there and you can see how to do it so you can check out management related courses uh, in which we have accounts related commerce economics related courses that's something you can learn or if you are learning all that anyway in your college right i would strongly recommend programming courses for you all learn at least one programming language to know what is programming how do people program whether you write the exam or not i would say please write the exam but yes even if you don't write the exam at least try a course do the assignment see whether you can do something about it or if you're not doing that i would propose the english courses i would propose the uh, you know the german language or the japanese language course that you can learn from those are what we have uh, quite a few for you to choose from i would say more than 100 we would have for bcom uh, level students at least okay yeah uh so these are translation how many courses we have in each language so in telugu we have 48 courses that are translated for now so that's what we have right okay we have also uh, something called special lecture series so we also have industry people come in and present lectures so these are again free to watch very interesting topics very very distinguished people who come and present lectures these are vice presidents ceo ctos of companies like ibm capgemini infosys that we've had in the past ias officers who have come and spoken to us film directors who's come and spoken to us journalist in the hindu a director at hindu entrepreneurs so i would really say you should go and watch these lectures when you have time even if you missed it last year it's okay but listening to such people is very inspirational you know what they have done how they have worked how they have brought up new companies how they have started a company where did they get their idea from these are all really interesting to listen to i would say please go back and listen to some of these lectures it will give you a tremendous amount of information knowledge and maybe there will be some topic to talk about also when somebody asks you something it will widen your knowledge base okay this is something that you can see and if you all are wondering saying uh, how many students study how many courses right maybe you think some students study only one or two courses and that's all we can do that's what is useful right look at this there is one learner who has done 47 nptel exams with us that's as good as a degree program or more than the degree program that all of you are doing how many courses you are do there i don't know maybe if you are doing a bsc it's 6 into 6 maybe 36 courses or if it's a btech also if i say six courses per semester it's about 48 so is an equivalent to that okay so there is one learner who's done 47 exams 34 exams 33 exams 32 exams and so on so you can see maximum people yes 5.6 lakhs do one exam but there are 1.4 lakhs who are doing two exams 48000 doing three and if you look up to 10 exams even right 
lot of them are doing 10 exams eight exams with us so maybe you should think about and plan for how you are going to study which courses you are going to do as you are in college and every semester try to do at least one or two nptel courses and finish with a certificate that will be really nice that you can do that with your college okay this is something we wanted to say uh who are these people who are doing these courses they are employed they are faculty members they are students all people like you so it's not like these people come suddenly from somewhere or they are also special they are so privileged nothing like that they are there in all towns in all kinds of environment they also have their constraints but they are also studying from these courses and doing multiple courses okay this is what the certificate looks like it has the swayam logo and it has the okay it has the nptel logo this was uh then it has your photo on the certificate it has uh, as you can see the le tag the gold medal we have just put it here to say if you fall under these categories you can see all these coming on your certificate then uh, the institute so if iit metras offers the course uh, at the bottom where the institute logo on round is put you can see iit metras uh, logo there iit metras the name will be put there signatures from our side will come and so on so this is the way that you can see how the certificate looks we had 20 lakh people who joined our courses in january semester 20 lakhs who joined our july semester and in 2021 we had 16 lakhs who joined the jan semester 16 lakhs who joined our july semester so it's not 5000 it's not 10000 it's not 1 lakh like i'm seeing on the chat window here but it is 16 lakhs who was our enrollment number last semester out of these exams uh, those who have written over the last 5 years it is 15.1 lakh people have registered for exams with us and they've gotten so our total enrollment in nptel today is 1.58 crores over the last 7 uh, years from when we are running this certification project we have finished 3500 courses almost and enrollment is 1.58 crores 15 lakhs exam registration that's the thing so you can see how big nptel is nptel is not something that we are doing 100 200 500 people or something like that every semester when we conduct exams in march and april it's 3 lakh people who write our exams so that's the uh, level at which we do we conduct exams all over the country in about 170 cities we conduct exams outside india like we said so this is our data so if somebody tells you uh, okay i haven't heard of nptel you should really tell them saying that 15 lakh people enroll every uh, semester and 3 lakh people write exams how come you're missing out you know that's the answer i will give them okay uh, you can see a lot of feedback about nptel on our social media handles we keep regularly posting about it we are uh, present on instagram on facebook on youtube community and you can see all the feedback that we have posted there about people have gotten jobs people have gotten through the soft skill training who have done our courses course feedback everything is available here so do subscribe to our social media handles so that you can get updates from our side okay i'll just give a brief on nptel local chapter because i don't know how many of you are faculty from different colleges who are not a local chapter with us so nptel works with about 4500 colleges today across the country and we have coordinators in each of these colleges who are called a single point of contact or spocs and uh, through them is how we are so successful so thanks to all the local chapter spocs whoever is watching this workshop today who is not watching the workshop today whoever is anywhere they are the champions for nptel within the colleges without them i don't think nptel would have grown so much so thanks to all the spocs of the local chapters and i would like to just briefly say how you can become a local chapter if there's somebody watching who's not yet a local chapter so to become an nptel local chapter there is no money involved there is no financial dealing you just need to send us an email saying that you want to become a local chapter there's a google form on the website fill it up and we need a coordinator in your college who will be our local champion so the head of the institution the director the principal whoever has to send an email saying that we would like to become a local chapter and so and so will be the single point of contact for nptel and that's all once we receive the email we'll verify some details and we will make you a local chapter so <clears throat> what why should you become a local chapter can students and faculty 
from colleges who are not local chapters participate in NPTEL? Yes, totally. You can participate. You can be a free learner. You can uh, learn from our courses without belonging to a local chapter. But having a local chapter in a college is a big advantage. There are logins that the single point of contact or the SCOC has. One is a login on Swayam portal. One is a login on our NPTEL website. And here they get information related to enrollment, exam registration, the marks, the transcripts, the certificates. All of this is given to the SCOC directly that they can actually see and they can share with their management. <clears throat> also, the other benefits are if we don't have a center in your particular city, you can request for that. If they have more than 200 people writing exams, we can facilitate centers in your particular city. Uh, faculty can become mentors. You can follow the progress of your students in the colleges that you can do. Uh, another important thing I will say is we have CSR support from companies who also give us money to help students from economically weaker backgrounds to write exams. So this fee waiver we give only to local chapters. So if you're a local chapter and you have students who come from economically weak backgrounds, if they are doing NPTEL courses, writing exams, once they pass it, we will refund 50% of the fee to them based on the college's recommendation. So that is something that you can do. Also, all this data that we give to the SPOC can be directly shared with bodies such as NAC and NBA when they come for accreditation. And you can say that we are showing this data inside your dashboard. That has also been very helpful for colleges is what we came to know. These are local chapters that we have. This is the state-wise distribution. Uh, I think Maharashtra is the highest followed by Tamil Nadu. And of course we have these Telangana comes in maybe four, seventh position with 234 local chapters currently, okay? Every semester we also, we have some few local chapters outside of India and some countries. They're not very active, but yes, they do keep using our courses as they can. Uh, we also rate local chapters every semester based on the participation from their side in the particular semester. So how many people have become toppers, how many people have written exams, how many people have, uh, you know, uh, done well. Based on it, we also rank and rate the college local chapters and we uh, publish this list publicly on our website every semester. Other interactions with local chapter uh, people, we do soft skill training like I already spoke about it. Uh, we take help of people here to go to exam centers as our representatives. Uh, faculty can help in translation effect, efforts. And uh, yes, like I said, we rate it and we give recognition to the SPOC and the college also every semester. So these are certificates that we give them based on the formula that we have to the college and the SPOC. Yeah, these are other categories that we have on based on faculty participation, based on how local chapters improve semester after semester. There's a separate category for art, science colleges also. Yeah, Star LC who have been in the top 10 or top 100 over the last uh, four years. That's something that we have done. That's it as a presentation that we had today. So I hope you learned about NPTEL, about what we do here. The NPTEL office, the head office is in IIT Madras. We have our head office here. About 70 people work in NPTEL office in IIT Madras. We have uh, smaller offices in IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Roorkee, IIT Gauhati, Bombay, Delhi and ISE Bangalore also. And we all work together to keep this project going. It's one of the most successful inter-institutional project that eight institutes come together to work on this project and kind of run it without a break and to kind of offer 2000 courses that we have today. That's what we want to say. So my uh, suggestion and uh, uh, you can say, maybe I'm old enough to advise all the young students out here also is try out NPTEL courses today. Go and go to Swayam website, join a few courses, learn from it, sample the videos there. You may or may not be able to follow certain videos. You may not like certain courses. Maybe some courses are difficult. It's okay. You can drop off. It is not like a college course that once you join a course, you have to be in that course. You have to complete that course. Otherwise, somebody will think something. Somebody will ask you something or maybe you paid fees that will get wasted. There is nothing like that in an NPTEL course. So you can join even five courses. You can join even 10 courses and you can try out week one videos. You can see what you're interested in and then shortlist it to maybe one or two courses, follow it up, see whether you're able to do assignments. Maybe it even comes down to one course in a semester, but follow it till the end, do all the assignments, watch all the videos, register for the exam, do the exam and become a topper in it. I think that's something that is very, very doable. 
I hope you were able to get that message as we presented in the last one and a half hours. That is what we were trying to tell you that don't be afraid that these courses are from IITs. I cannot do it. It will be very difficult. There are 15 lakh people who have written exams with us so far. It is not like all of them are coming out from IITs or they're all like very well accomplished. They're all coming from highly studious backgrounds, nothing like that. They're also students just like you in any college. What you need is the interest to study. What you need is the motivation. You have to put out time. It is not like two days before the NPTEL exam. Let me study and get a certificate. You will not get a certificate. Every week you have to watch videos. Every week you have to do the assignment. Then you can definitely get a certificate. So you need hard work and it will pay off. Okay. But it is not like I cannot do it. There is no such thing as I cannot do an NPTEL course. Anybody can do an NPTEL course. We showed you people from age 86 years doing NPTEL courses. We showed you people from all nook and corners of the country doing NPTEL courses. There is local language translation support of transcripts in some courses that will help you understand the subject better. Your faculty are there to help you if you do not understand something. Your friends are there to help you if you all join a course together. Discussion forum is there. Ask questions ask doubts if you have something there but try out and learn something which is outside of your college curriculum today when companies are looking out for recruitment one of the things they see is okay your college degree is there apart from this what have you done that is something that all of them are looking at are you able to learn on your own are you able to study outside of college curriculum are you picking up any skills that are relevant for any job you might be trying for this is something that companies do look out for it's not just a resume saying bsc with this ba with this that might be one thing but then we look at okay what else what else what else that is something that all of us look out for when we are recruiting people so it might be good to have a few certifications to at least get your skills enhanced to learn what you're interested in to try and explore new opportunities that are there it is free there is no fee to learn you can download and watch the videos. You can download and do the courses. You can enroll in Swayam courses and do it. Only the final exam has a thousand rupees fee. That also we are giving fee waivers if you're a local chapter. So you can use that also. You have to pay first, get your exam done, pass the course. We will be able to help you with fee waivers on that front also. So don't let money be a barrier. Don't let anything else be a barrier. Put in your time, put in your effort, learn from NPTEL get skilled and i hope you do much much better till then all the best and i hope that all of you do enroll to a course thank you thank you thank you bharti ma'am for your wonderful presentation my request with you is that uh, since many students are uh, watching this video uh, can you give some practical one or on five minutes how to log in, how to register? Is there any possibility of giving the practical demo on uh, uh, getting into NPTEL courses just for five to ten minutes, if possible? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let me share my screen, ma'am. Please uh, wait for a few seconds. Uh, Uh, let me share my screen. Is it a panamari reference? Uh, please log into the cognitive window, first of all. Uh, 
go to uh, swayam portal swayam.gov.in uh, click sign in and register uh, so instead of going to the username and then password so you have to click with uh, google option then uh, you have to uh, give your mail id that is a enrolled mail id i am giving my mail id yeah so i have logged in so you can search your course uh, so what are uh, this course you can search so these are all the disciplines so architecture design engineering and technology health sciences so these are the uh, uh, disciplines so i'm taking engineering and technology uh, computer science and engineering so here uh, there are a number of courses under that uh, computer science and engineering so here uh, they are cez provider and then nptel then other uh, coordinators uh, uh, courses also available in this login so you can choose uh, uh, nptel courses suppose uh, i i am choosing constraints at stratification so we have to click this so you can see the join option so you have to click join so these are all the basic details you have to give for the enrollment so name and then phone number and then you are the enrolled mail id so these uh, mail id should be uh, you have to use the same mail id for the registration also so these are the age, gender, and then country, pin code. So these are all the basic details. So suppose if the students are enrolling for the courses, means they have to select student, and then uh, then higher qualification. What are the qualification? So they have to give, and then year of graduation. These are all the basic details. Suppose if the uh, faculty uh, are enrolling for the courses, means they have to click faculty and then highest two qualifications so these are all they have to give and then uh, this uh, this is the new term in uh, swayam so suppose uh, this abc means academic bank of spirit suppose if the students have uh, abc code means then they have to click i have abc code and then they have to give a basic code and suppose if they have not abc code means they have to uh, allow swayam to create abc uh, id suppose if the if the so what is the purpose of this abc means that uh, credits should be shared with their uh, colleges and then wherever uh, they are uh, uh, doing the course that credits will be uh, transferred so this is the purpose of this uh, abc suppose if they do not uh, need any abc means uh, they can click do not need uh, abc id so now i am clicking uh, do not need abc id so here this is the major uh, part in enrolling so here uh, part of the swayam local chapter they have to your yeah, students have to click yes so this is how uh, suppose if the student have selected no means that students will not be come under your login that is your uh, college so uh, click say yes uh, and then uh, 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 local chapter state that is your college state and then uh, i'm giving sorry Karnataka. Karnataka. And then your college name. Uh, yeah. Uh, college, Saint Agnes College, Dakshin Canada, Karnataka. Uh, so this is a discipline. So suppose if the students belong to which discipline, they have to select. Uh, so I'm selecting engineering and then uh, department. So these are all the basic details. So here I have to, uh, I agree to Swayam and then I agree to follow the code. So now you have to click update profile and then join course. So this is the basic enrollment for the course. Uh, enrollment for the course. So once you enroll, it moves to the course page. That is Swayam course page. So this is the uh, course page. So these are the announcements. So what are the NPTEL announcements will comes under this uh, menu, and then about the course. About the course, so so, so it moved to uh, the course page. 
and then ask a question so if suppose if you have any query means you can click ask a question and then you can post your queries uh, and then progress tab uh, uh, yeah, these are all the assignments course will be comes under this menu. Uh, and then mentor, uh, yeah, these are the mentor session. And then uh, review assignments, they are able to see the assignments under here. So uh, now I'm going to register my course. So here, click here to register for the exam. Suppose if you have enrolled for the course, you want to register for the exam. Now I'm clicking here to register for the exams. So please note that you have to uh, uh, log in only through the incognito mode. It, uh, uh, if you click uh, the three dots of the Google Chrome browser, click new incognito window. Yeah, this is the dashboard of uh, exam form. Then you have to go with uh, go to personal info. Yeah, these are all the basic details. So already I done with the uh, exam registration, so that's why it displays like this. So we, it is actually the same uh, basic details: name, date of birth, and then address, and then mobile number, alternative mobile number, gender, and then passport size photo, and then signature, and then ID proof. So here you have to. Uh, uh, uh upload your passport photo the size should be 50k to uh, uh 150 kb the same as sign uh, signature also and then id proof it must be uh, 50 kb to 2 mb so suppose if the students comes under scst category means so uh, they have to click yes and then uh, they have to upload their proof uh, suppose if the uh, that is community certificate so they have to upload here so once it is approved from their NPL end, they will process the next step. So I click no. And then uh, suppose uh, the person with a disability means they have to uh, click yes, and then they have to upload their, uh, uh, which category they have. So they have to click, and then they have to upload their uh, particular document. Then uh, role, student, faculty, employed. Uh, so they have to click. So uh, here, uh, writing the exam in outside India. Suppose if the student is uh, right, taking the exam uh, in outside India, means they have to click uh, uh, yes. So uh, we are in inside India, so we have to click no. So these are the basic things. How did you know the individual and then process? You have to whatever it will be. Uh, oh, mm, this is the for the employees. Uh, Hmm. and then uh, what is your motiv motivation so these are all the basic details so you have to click this checkbox i here be confirm and then click save and continue so please don't forget to save then uh, so this is the major part so our country and then state your college state so uh, uh, please know that the student must be select the correct state so you have to uh, select karnataka and then college city i think dakshina kannada yes uh, dakshina kannada and then you have to select your college so the student must be selective uh, so they should not click other and then they should not type your college name. That is entirely wrong. That uh, students will not be comes under uh, your college. So they have to select your college. So their college is Saint Agents College. Then degree department. So these are all the basic uh, uh, details. And then uh, here is the next important role of this examination. Process. So uh, suppose if the students wants to transfer their credits to your college, means so they have to click yes. Yes, they have to. Uh, I'm taking this exams for credit transfer, and then I want to share my uh, score with my college. So both should be in yes. Suppose if the students are not taking the course for the credit transfer, means they can click no. So everyone, uh, students uh, must uh, must uh, select the uh, credit transfer as case, and then share their college, uh, share their score with their college. They have to click yes. Then they have to click I agree and then understand uh, that means registration details. They have to click save and continue. Then uh, they can add course. So, what are all the uh, courses uh, under your 
under your login uh, so you can choose uh, i am i choose constraint attribution and then exam day then 26 so some of the course uh, for example um, yeah i'm choosing this joy of computing the exam dates will, uh, there are two uh, uh, the course will be available for the two days to take the exam. Suppose if we choose 20, uh, I can choose 28 as a 29. So they are two options. Uh, those who are taking the joy of computing uh, course, so uh, they have two options to take exams. Either can uh, they can take 28 or 29. Then we add course. Then uh, next part, select exam cities. And then first preference and then second preference. So this is how uh, you click ED. So they have to select state. So the students first preference where they going to take exams. Uh, suppose the student is belong to other state means uh, the students want to uh, take exam in their state. Uh, suppose your student belong to Kerala means they can choose Kerala. Uh, the particular students are going to take exam in uh, Kerala only. So we will allocate. Uh, um, uh, Kerala. Then So this is how the allocations, uh, the exam allocations will be. Then confirm and then uh, third preference. Suppose uh, uh, if exam city charges one and two are not available, you will be alerted to third exam city. So uh, please careful on this. You have to choose very carefully uh, by choosing this uh, uh, preferences. Because once you uh, 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 given, uh, we cannot change this. Then you have to click confirm and then fail. Then uh, finally, uh, uh, you, have, you can uh, review your, uh, so what are the details you have given, you can review. Then finally, the payment, I agree to all the above, and then uh, they can make the payment. So this is how uh, the students can enroll and then uh, enroll and then registration so hope you are uh, clear with this enrollment and then registration so, thank you thank you thank you Pradeshani, for uh, taking up the practical session and uh, definitely i'm i'm sure that uh, my students and the staff would uh, get benefit from this okay thanks a lot So shall we wind up? Shall we conclude? Uh, okay, ma'am, we can conclude the session. Uh, uh, to be answered. Any uh, questions in the chat box? Are there any questions, ma'am? Because I can't make out here. Okay, if there are no, uh, if there are no, uh, no questions, uh, so uh, let me conclude this uh, uh, program by proposing vote of thanks. I deem it a great privilege in proposing the vote of thanks. First and foremost, I would like to thank Lord Almighty for showering his blessings in conducting this workshop smoothly and successfully. At the outset, I like to. I would like to thank Bharti Madam uh, for uh, taking up the session and enlightening us on NPTEL and its courses. Thank you, ma'am. Since your thanks are due to Divya and Priyadeshini for coordinating for this program. Since your thanks are also due to our principal, Dr. Venisa. She was an instrumental in initiating this workshop. Thank you, sister, for your welcome address. I have to acknowledge the support extended by Dr. Nancy Walls. Thank you, Nancy. I take this opportunity to thank our enthusiastic staff and students for attending this workshop. I am sure, henceforth, more number of our students will take up the NPTEL courses and as their knowledge and contribute to the college in a great scale. My special thanks are also due to Mr. Mohan, Mr. Rohan for his technical support. Thank you, thank you one and all.
Thank you, ma'am. We can wind up the session. Thank you all. Thank you, Priya ma'am. Divya ma'am. And Priya Deshini also. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Student, you can stop the live stream. Yes, thank you.